What's happening YouTube? My name is Alex and welcome to a new video. In today's video I want to show you how a fake Samsung Galaxy J7 2016 looks like and hopefully by the end of the video you're gonna have enough information so you don't end up buying a fake device believing that you're buying a real device. Let's begin! Let's start by taking a closer look at this device. So even though it looks similar on the sides, the back and the front, there are lots of little things that give this phone away. Starting with the back, so the speaker it's right here, the camera, the flash and the Samsung logo. On the original device, the Samsung logo it's actually silver and it's raised a bit from the plastic. In this case, for this particular clone, the Samsung logo it's actually printed onto the case there. Looking down more, you're gonna see that a lot of words are misspelled. So if you're gonna see misspelled words, you're definitely looking at a fake device. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this back cover here. So the back cover does look uh, like the original uh, onto this side. We even have a battery that says Samsung on it. So even though it says Samsung, it is a fake battery and that's not the actual uh, voltage of the battery. And everything else on the back here looks rather legit. So you're gonna have a hard time telling uh, that this is a fake device just by looking at the back of the device here. Moving on to the side of the device, the original J7 2016 has this frame made out of metal and this one actually has it made out of plastic and it does look like it's made out of metal but it is plastic. So you're gonna have to look carefully at this frame here because you're gonna see some uh, spots onto the frame where uh, the plastic uh, comes together. So around here for example, around here and so on each corner has a, a little mark where the frame comes together so you're gonna have to look for that because on the original device you're not actually gonna see that onto the frame at the bottom here we have the 3.5 mil audio jack the charging port and the microphone and onto this side again we have the two volume buttons nothing on top and on this side here uh, just the power button the front of this device looks very much like the original one and the only thing I've noticed onto the front are the bezels around the screen that are a bit larger than uh, on the original. And let me turn this on and show you the boot up animation. This will take a longer time than the original one to start up. As soon as the phone turns on, you can see those black bezels around the screen that are larger than uh, the bezels that you would find on the original device. Also, the viewing angles aren't the absolute best, but we do have the exact same resolution, which is 720p. And if you're still confused and you're not sure if you're looking at a fake device or not, go to settings, so apps, uh, settings, and scroll all the way down. So even though the settings app looks just like the original device, scroll the way down to the device, and here you're gonna see the model number which is uh, J7 and click on software info and here you're gonna see the Android version 6.1 so this is Marshmallow basically so if you tap on this a few times you're actually gonna see the lollipop sign so this should be your biggest clue that you're looking at a fake device because on the original one it's gonna be different the next thing that you're gonna be able to check it's the camera so as soon as you open the camera and you take a picture you're gonna notice how slow the camera on this uh, phone is so it takes a long long time to actually take a picture so if you have a camera that doesn't uh, do that good you're definitely looking at a fake device if we look at the picture here you're gonna notice that it's not the absolute uh, best quality picture either and if you're still not sure if you're looking at a fake or real device, take the time to install the Antutu benchmark and run the test. And you're gonna notice that you're gonna get a very very low score, so only about 11,000. If you click on info here again, you're gonna see that it's running Android 5.1.1. So the information shown in the about device, it's also fake. You're gonna see the CPU model, which is a very very slow CPU, the rear camera, the screen resolution and the RAM. So even though this uh, device says that it has uh, two gigs of RAM, it actually has only 500 uh, megabytes of RAM. And if you're still not sure about the device, uh, you're gonna install the CPU Z app. And again, here you can see the MediaTek processor and you know that that's not the MediaTek processor that this device um, it's supposed to have. So again, you can check some more information um, here as well. So just to be sure that you're not actually gonna buy a fake device, just take the time to actually look at it and uh, make sure that you're buying a 
original device. So yes, this looks a lot like a Samsung device and it could fool some people, but if you do take the time to actually look at the device, uh, check the software and uh, everything else, you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. Alright guys, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget uh, to subscribe, uh, press that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.